Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and I create fashion and lifestyle content. And we're all about just trying to live a more beautiful and intentional life. So if you're into that type of content, definitely be sure to subscribe. I do a lot of fashion hauls as well. So if you're into clothing try-ons, then definitely check out my other videos. But in this video, we're talking about hair. More specifically, we are talking about hair extensions. How this video is gonna work is I'm gonna share what are the different types of hair extensions that are out there on the market. I'm gonna share the different hair extensions that I've previously tried. Then I'm also gonna be talking to you about hand tied extensions, which is what I have in my hair right now. And I'm gonna be answering a ton of questions that are really gonna help you to decide what kind of extension would be right for you and your lifestyle. So you can kind of get all of the information and then decide what type of hair extension would be best for you. Or if you're on the fence and you're not sure if you're ready to invest all that money in hand tied extensions, then hopefully after you listen to all of these questions and answers, you'll be able to make a better choice for your lifestyle and your hair needs. So let's jump into it. So let's first talk about the different types of hair extensions. So there are um, several different types. There are clip-in hair extensions, which you can get real hair or fake hair. There are tape-in extensions, which are a little outdated in my opinion. And then there are hand-tied extensions, which is where you would go to a professional hairstylist, choose hair, and you, they would physically tie it into your head. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about clip-in extensions and then hand-tied extensions because tape-in extensions are a little bit outdated in my opinion. I think about like Britney Spears circa 2010 with her hair like flapping on stage performing and you can like see her tape and extensions. I just think that there are so many better ways to do hair extensions nowadays that there's really no reason for you to do a tape and hair extension. So I started out my hair extension journey about five years ago. So I've had some sort of hair extension in my hair for about five years and I started with clip-ins. So I remember this is like, I think I was 21, 22. This is like the big Bellamy stage when everybody was wearing the Bellamy clip-in hair and I wanted to, I wanted them so badly and so for Valentine's Day my husband got me hair I mean husband goals right um, so I've tried two different brands of clip-in hair extensions over the years I tried irresistible me which I have a whole blog post on that you can check out in the description box below if you want to learn a little bit more about their brand specifically but then I also tried Bellamy and I wore Bellamy extensions for the longest amount of time I think I have a blog post on that as well which I'll link in the description box and I'm also going to be inserting a lot of different pictures of my hair throughout the years so you can see what it looked like when I was wearing clip-ins versus what it looks like now with hand tied extensions and that will really give you a visual uh, for you to make the best decision there are pros and cons to clip-in hair extensions the pros are of course that they're going to be the most affordable budget friendly option so especially like me when I was starting out I couldn't justify spending all that money on new real hair and so I wanted to just kind of dip my toes into hair extensions I wanted to have fun with my hair and so clip-ins was perfect for me at my lifestyle at that moment and um, the positive with it is there's a lot of different brands right now that you can check out I think that Bellamy is probably the best option for clip-ins at the moment because they have so many different price points they have a lot of different kind of grams or weight hair that you can choose from and I think that they probably have over time grown in their color selection the other positive to uh, clip-in hair extensions is of course the fact that they are flexible they can clip in and out of your hair so if you kind of want your hair extensions to be like an accessory almost like it would be in your wardrobe then clip-ins are perfect for that so if you want to do those really cool like mermaid fishtail braids or if you want to wear your hair up in a really sleek pony or maybe you have a wedding upcoming that you just want to add some extra thickness and fullness in your hair then clip-ins could be could be a fun addition in your hair wardrobe so those are the positives to clip-in hair extensions but let's get into some of the negatives so after wearing clip-ins for about three years i decided to go to hand tied which i'll get to in a second um but the reason that i eventually switched to hand tied are because of these cons so the first con is of course the color matching process Finding a shade of clip-in hair extensions that matches your color and your hair now can be so difficult, especially if you have any kind of like dimension or highlights or lowlights in your hair. If you are a natural, if you have natural color or a solid color in your hair, it's gonna be much easier for you to find a color match online. Especially if you're blonde, there are so many different variations of blonde. As you know, you could be a warm tone blonde, a cool tone blonde, an ashy blonde, and there are so many different areas in between. They have bronze now. So like I said, finding your color can just be a nightmare. So if you are gonna do clip-in extensions, I definitely recommend going on their website and utilizing their customer service system. They have options where you can like take pictures of your hair and have a customer service representative help you find a match. Maybe your girlfriend can help you out or maybe you can even go to your hairstylist and help 
and she can help you find the best clip in hair extension um, that would best match your hairstyle and type at that moment. So like I said, I've gone through some really bad color matching experiences. I'm sure you can see through some of the pictures um, that I've had good matching and bad matching when it comes to clip-in extensions. The other con to clip-in extensions is the fact that it's just never going to look as natural as a hand tied extension would. Even at the end when I had my hair extension and hair color match perfectly to the extension, at the end of the day, it just will never look as natural as you want it to look. So that is why I eventually switched to hand tied hair extensions. So what are hand tied extensions? Hand tied is when they actually take real hair and they use threading and beads and they tie it into your head and you would get it moved up every couple of weeks. There are a lot of different ways to hand tie extensions into your head. There's a lot of different methods. So depending on your hairstylist, she may use one method and another stylist may use another method. My hairstylist here in Tampa, her name is Andrea of Gilded Salon. I will link her below. If you're in the Tampa or Florida area, you can check her out. But she uses the invisible bead method, which I think is personally the most natural and best method on the market when it comes to hair extensions. And the reason for that is because it's actually invisible. So when you pull your hair up, you actually cannot see any of the beading and the beading is really well hidden. So it's really hard to tell if you have hair extensions at all, um, unless you physically show someone and move your hair enough to actually show a friend, you know, where it's tied into your head. So I think that if you're wanting something to be really natural, then invisible bead extension method is going to be the best on the market. All right, so now let's get into some questions and answers about hand tied extensions specifically. I'm gonna be pulling these questions from a blog post that I did two days ago, and I will link this in the description box as well because if you need any of this information as a reference or if you want to remember anything from this video, um, then definitely check out that blog post because it's gonna have literally everything from this video in that post. You can also take that post to your hairstylist or share it with a friend if they're interested in hand tied extensions. Also in that blog post, I will be linking all of my favorite hair tools and hair products as well. All right, so let's get to the first question, which was, what is the hand tied extension method, which I just went over. It's when you use thread and beads and you tie it into your hair. You do need to go to a professional hairstylist to get that done. The next question is, how often do you need to move them up? So I get my hair extensions moved up every six to eight weeks. So I get them moved up every time that I get my hair colored. So I go, I get my color done and my hair extensions moved up in one shot. I have gone as long as 10 to 11 weeks but that was because of quarantine, so I wasn't able to get my hair done. Um, I do not recommend going 10 weeks. Um, it's possible and you can do it, um, but it's not recommended. How long does the hair last? So when you first go to get hand tied extensions, your stylist will find a hair brand, a hair color that will match your hair perfectly and she'll tie it into your head. So once you have that first set of hair in your head, that physical hair will last you about a year. You could go longer, but hair extension hair is real hair, so it gets damaged and it experiences life just the way that your hair experiences it. You know, you shower, you blow dry, you heat style, you're out in the sun, you might get chlorine in it. So that hair is gonna be exposed to damage. And so after about a year, you're probably gonna wanna get new hair just because it's gonna look fresh and healthy and pretty. Do hair extensions damage your hair? This one is kind of a double-edged sword because it's a yes and no answer. Yes, they damage your hair in the sense that everything damages our hair, whether it's the way that we sleep, whether it's the hot tools that we use, um, you know, just being out and about wearing your hair in a ponytail, our hair is exposed to damage all the time. So of course, when you have something tied in your head, you know, and it's pulling on your hair, there is a possibility for there to be some damage. However, I feel like it actually protects your hair from damage as well, especially from damage against coloring. If you have hand tied extensions, you actually only need to get a full like highlight about once or twice a year. So that means that all of this underneath hair is not being exposed to color dye and damage. Um, because the extensions are tied into your hair and you can't see that underneath part of your hair, there's no need to expose it to color. So I think that it actually allows that hair to grow better because you're not you know, damaging it with chemicals from coloring. So yes and no, you know, yes there's damage, no there's not. I don't think that it's any more damaging than any of the other things that we do to our hair. I think personally that 
heat styling and color is the worst things that we can do for our hair over hair extensions. Do hand tied extensions look natural? Yes, they look the most natural out of any hair extension that I've ever tried. You can see that through the pictures throughout this video. Um, because of the fact that my stylist, she not only colors my hair, but she also colors the hair extension hair every time I go get my hair done. So if we do something different with my hair, if she adds more highlights or lowlights, she can do the same thing to the hair extensions because they're real hair. And that way it's gonna blend so seamlessly into your head. The most natural hair extensions are hair extensions that are colored really well to your hair and that blend seamlessly. So that is why hand tied extensions will always be the most natural looking because you know, you're getting the color and the blendability perfectly right together. Do I only need hair extensions if I want longer hair? The answer is definitely not. There are so many reasons to get hair extensions. Um, if you had a really bad haircut and you're waiting for it to grow out, you can get a little bit of hair extensions just to fill in your hair as your hair grows out. If you are suffering with severe color damage and your hair is breaking, if you're dealing with postpartum hair loss, if you had excessive heat damage, there's so many reasons that you can get hair extensions other than just having long locks. Um, the biggest reason I think that people get hair extensions is actually for added fullness and to make their hair look healthier, more so than length. Um, I actually have had hand tied extensions for a year and a half to two years. And for a good portion of that, I actually had short hair. So I still had hair extensions in, but I had more of that medium length. So it really wasn't for the length. It was just, you know, to add extra fullness and body to my hair. Are they expensive slash worth it? Yes, they are expensive. Um, they are gonna be probably one of the more expensive options on the market, and that's because you get what you pay for with hair. Like I said in the past, um, clip and hair extensions are gonna be the most affordable option. They're gonna be the more budget-friendly choice, but they're never going to look as good as a hand-tied extension. So, you know, you will have to go through that process and get them moved up every six to eight weeks. Um, but you're also paying for a really well done professional job. And are they worth it? Heck yes. I love my hand tied extensions. I feel like they make me so much more confident, um, especially being a blonde. I've been a blonde for so many years that my hair has gone through so much damage and my real hair is really not in the greatest condition. So hair extensions let me feel confident and beautiful and still allow me to be a blonde. <laughs> How can I find a good hairstylist to do my extensions? Um, well, if you're in Florida, I definitely recommend Andrea of Gilded Salon. Um, like I said, she'll be in the description box below. But if you're not local, then I think the best way to find a hair extension specialist is actually to go to the Invisible Bead website. So Invisible Bead, like I said, is a method that my hairstylist uses for my hand tied extensions. And they actually have a stylist locator on their website where you can go in and type in your zip code and they'll pull up all of the hairstylists that actually have a certification with that method. So you know that that stylist is going to be certified in the invisible bead method, which I think is the best method on the market. Another great way to find a hairstylist in your area is to check out Instagram or to go to maybe some of the influencers that you follow that might be in your area and see where they go and get their hair done. I think that pictures tell a really good story. Um, so going to somebody's Instagram feed is like going to see their professional gallery. You can look at their pictures and see if their style would fit what you're looking for. So those are all the questions and answers about hand tied extensions. Um, like I said, in the description box below, I will have links to all of the blog posts that I talked about. And I'm also going to be linking a couple of my favorite hair products in the description box below. So I will link the curling iron that I use to do my hair. I will link my shampoo and conditioner. Um, but also if you want even more hair product and tool recommendations, check out my hand tied extension blog post that will be in the description box because I link so many things that in that post as well from, like I said, my shampoo, conditioner, hairbrushes, accessories, all of the things will be in that blog post below. So that is it. That is my experience with hand tied extensions. Like I said, I have gone through a lot of different hair extensions in the past as you've been able to see throughout this video. Um, I love my hand tied extensions. Like I said, they make me feel so confident and so beautiful. And I'm so grateful that I was able to find a hairstylist around me that I really love and she does amazing work. If you're still on the fence about hair extensions and you have a couple of other questions, definitely leave me a comment or reach out to me on Instagram. I have no problem. I would love to answer any of your questions. Um, also, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram. I share so much other content on there. Um, I also will share whenever I go and visit Andrea. You know, we share some of the process. Um, so I have a whole bunch of other hair photos and things on my Instagram feed as well. 
And that is it for this video. So if you liked this video, if you found it helpful or if it answered any of your questions, definitely be sure to leave a comment below, like this video, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.